Hey, welcome to One Little Coder, your practical AI tutorials destination. This video is going to be about a fast TTS solution that you can run on CPU. I think this is one of the best, really high quality voice that you can just run on CPU. It's a very small model. I mean, not too small that it is crappy, but a good size model for which you do not need GPU. I'm going to show the demo on Google Collab Notebook, but this demo on Google Collab Notebook, just as you can see here, I'm just simply running it on CPU not on GPU. So you can just do the same thing on your local computer and it should ideally work for you without any issue. So this new model is from a company called Kitten. I mean Kitten, literally. Kitten TTS. And this company, uh, the company name is Kitten ML and they've released Kitten TTS Nano. This is the preview version and they're going to release the full version according to them. So this new model is an open source, realistic. I'm not sure how realistic it is, but the voice quality is really good. Text to speech model, 15 million parameters. The model doesn't have a really good emotional sense, I would say. Like I've been seeing a lot of uh, TTS with good emotions where you can add emotional tags or even within the text, it would understand the emotion of the text. And then um, when it narrates, it narrates like that. But this model, I wouldn't say like that. But again, I can't complain because this model is literally 25 MB. So this is less than 25 MB. It's optimized for CPU and it's got a bunch of pre-determined um, or pre-loaded voices available both male and female and it is primarily optimized for real-time uh, speech synthesis. How do you run this model? All you have to do is if you're going to do it on Google Collab you can just literally click the link below the like button if you want to click the like button you can do that as well but click the link below the like button and open the Google Collab and click run all. It should ideally work without any issue. But if you want to do it locally on your computer, then the first thing that you have to do is you have to install the latest version of the Kitten uh, TTS. Once you install the latest version of Kitten TTS, it might take a couple of minutes for it to happen. In my case, on my Google Collab, it took two minutes because it's, uh, it's updating a lot of libraries. It's removing a lot of libraries and installing it again. So that's one thing. Once you do that, the next thing is from Kitten TTS, they have, it's their own SDK, import Kitten TTS and then you define it with an object, M is equal to kitten TTS and specify the model. Ideally, if they have got new version of model, then you would change the model. There is a list of voices that are available. We can explore later in this video, we would explore different voices and then how does it sound. Then you have to just say M dot generate whatever text you want to give. You can keep the text as a separate object as well if you want, like if that's going to help you. So I'm going to just, to make it simple, I'm going to just copy this entire thing. I'm going to put it as a separate text. Input text, input text is equal to this. And I'm going to just call input text here, input text. Once you have that, then you can use m.generate, which is the object where you stored the model. And then just give what voice you want. In my case, I've selected 5M. So this is a text that I copied from OpenAS Wikipedia page. And I'm going to play it for you. So first I'm going to read it. Now you know how crappy it sounds in my accent. In 2023 and 2024, OpenAI faced multiple lawsuits from alleged copyright infringement against authors and media companies whose work was used to train some of OpenAI's products. In November 2023, OpenAI's board removed Sam Altman as CEO, citing a lack of confidence in him, but reinstated him five days later following a reconstruction of the board. So this is just like a random news, it doesn't have to do anything with current affairs. So I'm going to just play it for you, what this has created, and then we're going to try it with different audio clips. I'm going to play. In 2023 and 2024, OpenAI faced multiple lawsuits for alleged copyright infringement against authors and media companies whose work was used to train some of OpenAI's products. In November 2023, OpenAI's board removed Sam Altman as CEO, citing a lack of confidence in him, but reinstated him five days later following a reconstruction of the board. That's it. It's a, it's a really good one. Uh, if you see, the voice is very natural. Uh, I think that's what they meant is realistic. It's not like a robotic voice. It's not like, you know, typically you open Polly and then read an audiobook. It's very good. You can create audiobooks out of it. I mean, like, the f sound is good. 
The only thing that I feel it is missing is emotion, but I shouldn't complain with a model that is 25 megabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and then just like, this is the intro that you saw at the start of the video. Hey, welcome to One Little Coder, your practical AI tutorials destination. So I've got, I've used it with voice 2M when you saw at the start of the video. So I'm going to just go ahead and then change it to 2F so that we can play with the same clip, but different voices. So I'm going to just go to 2F and you can also see how much time it takes for it to generate and do everything. So I've just played it. I'm not going to edit this video. It took three seconds in this case for this small text. It took three seconds on CPU. I'm going to play. Hey, welcome to One Little Coder, your practical AI tutorials destination. Not bad. I'm going to do 3F. So we have got 3F, we have got 4F, and we have got 5F. Okay, so play it. Hey, welcome to One Little Coder, your practical AI tutorials destination. Nice. I like this more. Um, this also is 5 seconds. That was 4 seconds. I'm going to do 4F. Hey, welcome to One Little Coder, your practical... Oh, sorry, I didn't run the code. My bad. Running this, then... Hey, welcome to One Little Coder, your practical AI tutorials destination. This almost sounds like I can create ASMR videos. 5F. Hey, welcome to One Little Coder. Your practical AI tutorials destination. I can make kids video with this. I'm going to go for, sorry, 5M. Six seconds. Hey, welcome to One Little Coder. Your practical AI tutorials destination. 4M. Hey, welcome to One Little Coder, your practical AI tutorials destination. It's pretty fast, I would say, the four series is. Hey, welcome to One Little Coder, your practical AI tutorials destination. Absolutely love this voice too, is something that we have already heard. When you compare it with different voices, I actually like most of the voices, except the, the girl who was uh, like on a kid's YouTube channel. But everything else is very good and uh, as you saw like it's pretty fast for a cpu the model of this quality this size is pretty fast we don't have a lot of information about if um, you can i think you can use it for commercial purpose they have not explicitly mentioned the model comes under apache 2.0 license so technically you should be able to use it for open um, for commercial purpose so i would say like if you want to develop this and then make a youtube video and then try it out this is your time take an audio book and then see how it is going to go technically it should work with longer text like i tried text with uh, something that is longer than this it works it doesn't break it doesn't do anything weird because i don't think this is like an auto regressive model i could be wrong but either way i think this is a great great model i love seeing smaller models especially in the world of tts text to speech smaller models can make a huge impact whether it is real-time streaming, whether it is um, near real-time speech synthesis for a lot of different use cases, it can help. And they've also shared their roadmap. Like now they've shared the preview model, which is what we use now. They're going to share the fully trained model weights, which is going to be higher quality Then release a mobile SDK and release a web version. I think that's where they'll make money with the subscription kind of a plan. But either way, absolutely love this. Thank you so much for the team kitten ml for releasing this model and let me know what you think about the voice that we saw and which voice that you would like see you in another video happy prompting